Hi, what are the target IDs for the worn nickels on the Equinox? This video tests and answers that question. And this is based on comments and theories made by diggers at online forums. Let me basically read what they say. They, they're talking about the metallic content of the worn nickel, that it varies and that varies then the target ID. For example, some of them uh, believe that, you know, the content of the manganese, some nickels don't, do not have manganese, that others may have more or less copper or more or less silver. Well, we might not be able to answer that question or, or test that theory in this video, but I can tell about the target IDs. Uh, they say, for example, that the San Francisco War Nickel uh, shows higher target IDs than other nickels. And they mention in particular uh, the 1943 San Francisco. They have seen target IDs as low as 13 and as higher as 21. Even one mentioned a 25. Uh, the soil conditions that be based on the soil condition these target IDs may vary and that's probably very true um, they they mention about the uh, you know multi using multi frequency versus single frequency uh, in in this test that we're going to conduct I'm going to use uh, five tones and 50 tones for the multi frequency uh, because those are the most commonly used tones by diggers. As a matter of fact, my nickel, my worn nickel found has been found at five tones in multi-frequency. And then I'm going to test also a uh, single frequency using the four kilohertz to see how it goes. Okay, so with no further ado, let's test these babies. Uh, let me tell you that uh, these comments, uh, observations, and even theories have been made by diggers based on the nickels that they have found in the field. But what are the target IDs or VDIs of all the war nickels that have never been tested? Here I have a set of all 11 war nickels from 1942 to 1945 and from each one of the different mints. And these coins are circulated coins, pretty much like the ones that we're gonna find in the field. So we're gonna test them in multi-frequency and then the single frequency at four kilohertz to see how they behave. So let's take a look. So I have the machine in park one, but in the all metal setting. Uh, and then let's uh, gonna begin with five tones. There you go. All right, so let's see our coins, how they behave. Okay, let's begin with our first nickel, the 1942 Philadelphia. Six inches, eight inches, and ten inches. Now let's test the nineteen forty two San Francisco, six inches. Eight inches and ten inches. Let's go ahead with the nineteen forty three Philadelphia, six inches. Eight inches and ten. Now 
1943 Denver, six inches. Eight inches. Ten. Nineteen forty four Philadelphia, six inches. Eight inches. Ten inches. Nineteen forty three San Francisco. This is a special one. Six inches. Remember they said that this one gave high tones. Six inches. Eight inches. And ten inches. Let's see the 1944 Denver. Six inches. Eight inches. And ten inches. Nineteen forty four San Francisco, six inches, eight inches, and ten inches. Nineteen forty five Philadelphia. Six inches, eight inches, and ten. Let's go ahead with the nineteen forty five Denver, six inches. Eight inches and ten inches. And finally, the nineteen forty five San Francisco, six inches, eight inches. And ten inches. Now we're going to test them all now in fifty tones. Okay, people, so now we're going to change it to fifty tones. There you go. Let's see how our coins behave now. Okay, so we're gonna begin again with the 1942 Philadelphia, six inches, eight inches, ten inches, let's go ahead with the 1942 San Francisco, six inches, Eight inches and ten inches. Nineteen forty three Philadelphia, six inches, eight inches, ten inches. Let's go ahead with the 1943 Denver, six inches, eight inches, and ten inches. Nineteen forty 
1944 Philadelphia, 6 inches. 8 inches. And 10 inches. Nineteen forty three San Francisco, six inches, eight inches, and ten inches. Nineteen forty four Denver, six inches. 8 inches and 10 inches 1944 San Francisco 6 inches 8 inches and 10 inches 1945 Philadelphia 6 inches 1945 Philadelphia 6 8 inches 8 inches 10 inches 1945 Denver, 6 inches, 8 inches, and 10 inches. 10 and finally, the 1945 San Francisco, 6 inches. 8 inches and 10 inches 10 and there you have it people those are all the coins at 5 and 50 tones now let's see our coins uh, in single frequency at 4 kilohertz. Okay, we'll begin with the 1942 Philadelphia at 6 inches, 8 inches, and 10 inches. Let's follow with the 1942 San Francisco, 6 inches, 8 inches, 10 inches. Nineteen forty three Philadelphia, 6 inches, 8 inches, 10 inches. 1943 Denver, 6 inches, 8 inches, and 10 inches. Let's continue with 1944 Philadelphia, 6 inches, 8 inches. And 10 inches. 10 Followed by 1943 San Francisco, a special one, 6 inches, 8 inches, and 10 inches. Now 
1944 Denver, 6 inches, 8 inches, and 10 inches. Nineteen forty four San Francisco, six inches, eight inches, ten inches. Nineteen forty five Philadelphia, six inches, eight inches. 10 inches 1945 Denver 6 inches 8 inches and 10 inches 1945 finally the 1945 San Francisco 6 inches, 8 inches, and 10 inches. And there you have them. Okay, all 11 war nickels at 4 kilohertz. Wow, did you see that? Uh, in the multi-frequency test, I, I saw that um, the coins behave pretty much in the same way for five tones and 50 tones. A little bit of uh, target ID variation at 10 inches. I believe that that's expected. That would be, you know, a, a deep coin and uh, soil conditions may also uh, affect the, the target ID a little bit more but no but this single frequency wow a lot of variation especially at uh, 10 inches I did not see much variation at 6 uh, and 8 inches that I saw at 10 inches I saw coins going up to 25 uh, at some point and uh, you remember that this is a, an air test so in a real uh, field situation probably you're gonna get those high tones uh, my question to uh, my fellow diggers uh, in the forums is uh, were you when you were mentioning about you know the high uh, target ID uh, for the Denver and especially the San Francisco ones? Uh, were you talking about uh, single frequency or multi frequency? Because this test showed that uh, multi frequency, especially the five tones, uh, all the coins behave pretty much the same way, you know, giving 12, 13, 14, sometimes going up to 16, but you know. No, not 21 or 25, as as we saw happening with the uh, the single tone, the single frequency. So those are my questions. You know, um, I, I would like to see that more specificity uh, when you are talking about target IDs for the coins. Be more specific and and tell us. You know, you are using more the frequency, even uh, the sensitivity. Um, in this test, I was using 20, maximum 22 sensitivity because I was doing this inside the house. Uh, but if you um, ramp it up to 25, probably, you know, what are you going to get? Um, so pretty much very cool, right? So that's the test, that's the end of the test. Um, I have generated further questions that I will bring up in uh, future tests, okay? So I got new ideas based on this one for uh, future tests using the Equinox and coins. 
uh, so stay tuned okay so I hope that you know this is gonna help uh, it's not the real thing but it's an idea and I hope that I have contributed something to the meta detecting community okay I see you in the next one